thank you, Madam President. Uh, we shall not mix cause and consequence. And in this debate, you focus too much on the consequence. So let's be honest. Uh, one of the root causes is that uh, simply UNIFIL failed to help to protect uh, the people of uh, Lebanon from Hezbollah as such. Uh, UNIFIL even failed to protect our closest neighborhood from the presence of uh, those uh, terrorists. So what we are debating today. And uh, also to be honest, Hezbollah is supported by Iran and represents a threat uh, not only to the people of Lebanon but also to Israel. So. Uh, Israel, as well as Ukraine, we debated in the topic before, they do only what is necessary. They protect themselves. So, ladies and gentlemen, it would be application of uh, double standards. If you ask now Israel for a ceasefire, we do not do it for Ukraine and don't do it for Israel. Thank you. Mr. Knotek, there is a blue card. Do you want to take it? Ms. Incia? Madam President, I'm a bit shocked of what was just said. Am I understanding it correct that the colleague from the far right ban bench of this parliament is saying that it is okay for Israel to attack the UN blue helmet, to attack UNIFIL? Is that correct? Mr. Knotek. Madam colleague, uh you should be careful when people are talking or go back to school because uh, I didn't say at all something like this. Uh, Israel protected, please, I let your 30 seconds, let my 30 seconds. Israel protected Israel and it's a problem of UNIFIL that they were not careful because close to their stations and positions there were terrorists. So maybe they have not been doing the correct work. That's it. So please do not say things that I have not mentioned. Thank you. Thank you. And the next uh, speaker is uh, Mr. Madison for one minute, please.